This video is not for kids. This may contain cussing, suggestive themes, and or triggering topics. Anything said in this video is alleged and not to be taken seriously. This video nor channel does not promote or encourage illegal activities. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allow it's made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is as use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And warning again, the following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossips and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about about the executive order against social media bias and censorship that Trump is signing. I've never been so happy in my life of this because this is a good thing. Oh yes, let's talk. I wasn't going to say anything, but this is a such a great thing. This is the second thing Trump has done that I agree with. For example, the mask wearing nonsense is ridiculous. You all know how I feel about this corona nonsense. Anyway, but censoring him may have been the best thing to have happened to platforms everywhere, especially mine, because I got shut down four times and demonetized the fifth time. And now all of my videos are now getting flagged and reviewed and rejected almost. Heck, some of them get taken down. And they're also cutting my revenue and freezing my views and deleting my subscribers. I tried hiring a lawyer because it is censorship. I also tried hiring a hacker, but they charge too freaking much and I cannot afford it. But I'm praying this will change many things and help many other people as well. But that said, here are the details. It seems that Donald Trump lashed out at social media Thursday, accusing it of anti-conservative bias, which is called one of the greatest threats to freedom of speech in American history, and said he wished he could close down Twitter. He lambasted the platform as he signed an executive order in the Oval Office, which is intended to begin tackling what it claims is censorship of conservative voices. The order could open Twitter, Facebook, and Google up to lawsuits by diluting the legal protection which stops them from being liable for posts on their platforms and which also allows them to moderate content. It came after Twitter slapped two of the president's tweets with a fact checked. Mm -hmm, they did that to a lot of mine on Tuesday. And Trump hit back by saying he would regulate and even shut down the Silicon Valley giants if they are shown to be biased. He accused Twitter of becoming an editor with a point of view and not a neutral platform by fact checking him and then slammed one of its executives, Yoel Roth, its head of user integrity, accusing him of fraud for the fact checked. Twitter says he was not involved in it. They asked Trump if he wanted to get rid of Twitter. He said, if it was legal, if it was able to be legally shut down, I would. So then Trump signed the executive order on fairness, which could lead Twitter, Facebook, Google, and other social media platforms, including YouTube and search platforms as well, being stripped of a legal shield, which makes them almost immune from being sued. Did you guys know that? Because as we all know, they have been very unfair to platforms such as mine. Anyway, moving along here, a leaked draft of the document suggests that it will try to limit the crucial protection social media companies have from being sued under normal defamation and freedom of speech laws. Although it falls short of his threat to close platforms like mine has been done, okay? So, shares in Twitter, the target of Trump's anger for the fact check, were down 3% by early afternoon. But those in Facebook rose slightly. Now, I'm not talking about my man Zuckerberg. I mean, the Facebook and Instagram founder and owner. He criticized Twitter Jack Dorsey. He criticized him for the fact check. Google shares was up also. It has not passed comment, though, to the row. You know, I'm going to say that Facebook and Instagram do the same as Twitter. So, why is Zuckerberg being a hypocrite? I mean, come on now. I thought you and I had something going. <laughs> That's what Zuckerberg doesn't know. And, you know, he doesn't know that it's been done on his platform. Anyway, the draft version of the order shows that Trump will order the Federal Communication Commission, FCC, to clarify how to enforce regulation under Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act. That is the federal law largely exempting online platforms from legal liability for users' posts. Oh, yes. But the draft order says that the protection should not apply if companies are engaged in editorial conduct, meaning making a judgment for themselves about how people's 
points of view are presented meaning trying to talk for everyone else you see this is what trump accused twitter of doing by fact checking him and what conservatives claim happens to their posts which are promoted less than those with more liberal viewpoints meaning those who comply with their agenda mm -hmm. <laughs> such as you know many people such this move could open up twitter facebook and other platforms to an avalanche of lawsuits from people claiming their views have been unfairly censored oh yes oh i'm not done yet it also requires the agency to look at whether social media platforms are using deceptive policies to moderate content by not openly declaring how they decide how viewpoints are dealt with oh i'm loving this this is such youtube so youtube Trump is also expected to set up a mechanism allowing Americans to report alleged political censorship or bias by the social media giants, which will be investigated by the Federal Trade Commission. Oh, yes. Heck, the White House Tech Bias Reporting Tool will collect complaints of online censorship and submit them to the Department of Justice and the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. So that means that the FTC will then be required to consider taking action. Examine whether complaints violate the law, draw up a report describing such complaints, and make the report publicly available. The draft order also requires the Attorney General to establish a working group, including State Attorney General, that would examine the enforcement of state laws that prohibit online platforms from engaging in unfair and deceptive acts. And federal agencies are to be told to review their advertising on social media platforms, which is worth about 1.5 billion freaking dollars in the last decade okay section 230 of the 1996 law is a shield against social media networks being sued did you guys know that for what people post on their platforms it says and i quote no provider or user of an interactive computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any information provider by another information content provider. It also says that no provider or user of an interactive computer service shall be held liable on account of any action voluntary taken in good faith to restrict access to or availability of material that the provider or users considers being obscene, lewd, filthy, excessively violent, harassing, or otherwise objectionable whether or not such material is constitutionally protected. Mm -hmm. A publisher or speaker can normally be sued for defamation for the contents of their speech, but by not being categorized as those any attempt to use social media giants for what is written on them falls as the first hurdle. Now, the 1996 statute has allowed Silicon Valley to make billions of dollars from their users posts, photos, and videos with minimal legal liability while giving them the freedom to remove anything they see as objectionable. Hence, what they've been doing to me and many other people. But get this, this was written when social media did not exist since its explosive growth platforms including Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube have changed repeatedly. The algorithms decide the order in which users see new posts and can be used to make particular content more or less visible, hence what they're doing to my freaking channel. Of course, this has led critics to say that they are behaving as publishers though, deciding what people read or see and not simply as forums, which it should be. This is really a good thing, people, and I pray things change because something needs to change. These platforms are acting like gods and deciding what is relevant and what they think should be put out. And if you do apply to their strict and biased rules, they can still flag it if they don't like you personally. Hence my platform. I'm, I'm just saying. I am so with this. I am so on this because it seems that the rest of... You know, the act gives forums powers to set standards for content, which social media platforms have used as a basis for moderating content and to justify the existence of algorithms. And conservative and many others outside the mainstream thought on matters like history, climate change, and even on coronavirus have, I mean, criticized the use of Section 230 claiming big tech companies has censored content without being subject to scrutiny. Yes, you all pissed off the wrong people, okay? I hope he wins. Well, 
that's it let me know your thoughts below on that note don't forget to subscribe share like and hit that bell so you get notifications from when i do post more videos see you all later love you all bye